Many of us rely on Canva for quick graphic design needs. However, here comes Adobe Express with some of the compelling features that make it worth checking out as an alternative to Canva. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to use Adobe Express and highlight why it could potentially replace Canva in your design workflow. So keep watching the whole video, or else you will miss out on many things. Let's get started. First things first, let's get you set up with Adobe Express. Simply visit their website. We provided the link in the description below and create a free account. You can also download the Adobe Express mobile app for iOS or Android if you want to design on the go. The web version works great on desktop and we'll be focusing on that for this tutorial. Once you're logged in, you'll see the Adobe Express dashboard. It's clean and simple to use with quick access to templates, recent projects, and design tools. This is already feeling more functional than Canva's busy interface. Let's get right in and create something. Click on Create New and you'll see a variety of template options. We're going to make a social media post, so let's select Instagram post from the list. Now you're in the main editor. On the left, you'll find your design tools and assets. The center is your canvas. And on the right, you can adjust properties of selected elements. This layout should feel familiar if you've used Canva before. Now we can start customizing our Instagram post. We'll choose a template that catches our eye. How about this colorful product announcement one? Click on it and see if it's loaded into your canvas. Now let's make it our own. Click on the text to edit it. We'll change new collection to summer sale. See how easy that was? Let's adjust the colors to match our brand. Click on the background, then use the color picker on the right to choose a new shade. We're going with a sunny yellow to really scream summer. Want to add an image? Click the add button on the left, then select photos. You can upload your own or browse Adobe's stock library. We'll grab this beach photo to reinforce our summer theme. Drag it onto the canvas, then use the handles to resize and position it. Let's add a final touch with a shape. Click add again, then shapes. We'll choose a simple circle and place it behind our text for emphasis. Use the arrange options on the right to send it to the back. There you have it. In just a few minutes, we've created a custom Instagram post that looks professional and on brand. Adobe Express makes the process smooth and intuitive, even if you're new to design. Play around with different elements and see what you can create. All right, now we are going to talk about Adobe Express templates and customization features. It provides a nice selection of templates to get you started. Browse through the options and pick one you like. We're going with this minimalist product announcement template. To customize the template, simply click on any element to select it. You can then drag to reposition, use the handles to resize, or double click to edit text. Let's change the product name and adjust the colors to match our brand. One thing we really like about this platform is how easy it is to access Adobe's large font library. Click on any text element, then use the font dropdown to explore thousands of professional typefaces. This blows Canva's font selection out of the water. So now, need to add some extra flair to your design? Click on the Add button in the left toolbar. Here you'll find a variety of elements like shapes, icons, and photos. The selection isn't quite as extensive as Canva's, but the quality is top-notch. Let's add a decorative shape to our design. We'll go with this simple circle, then use the color picker to match it to our brand palette. You can easily layer elements by dragging them in the right-hand layers panel. For photos, Adobe Express integrates with Adobe Stock. This gives you access to millions of high-quality stock images right within the editor. Many are free to use, while others require a paid license. The integration is effortless and beats browsing for images on external sites.
Here's where Adobe Express really shines compared to Canva. Click on the Quick Actions button at the top of the screen. This opens up a variety of advanced tools powered by Adobe's AI technology. Need to remove a background from an image? Just drag and drop your photo and Adobe's AI will do the work for you. We just tried this with a product shot and the results are impressive and easily on par with dedicated background removal tools. Other quick actions include resizing images, converting file types, and even generating QR codes. These are tasks that often require jumping to other tools when using Canva, so having them built right in is a huge time saver. When your design is ready, click the share button in the top right. You can invite others to edit or view your project, similar to Canva's collaboration features. There's also an option to schedule social media posts directly from Adobe Express, which is handy for content planning. To export your design, click Download and choose your preferred format. Adobe Express supports common formats like JPEG, PNG, and PDF. One cool feature is the ability to export unflattened PDFs, which preserve layers for further editing in other Adobe apps. This is great if you need to hand off your design to a professional for final tweaks. We mentioned the Adobe Express mobile app earlier, and it's worth pointing out. The app brings most of the desktop functionality to your phone or tablet. It's great for quick edits or creating content on the go. The interface is intuitive, and we found it easier to use than Canva's mobile app. Now you might be thinking of why you'd want to give Adobe Express a try instead of sticking with Canva. Well, let's break it down. First off, we've got to talk about Adobe's design jobs. These people have been in the industry for decades, and it shows. The templates and tools in Express just have that extra polish. You know when you see a design and it looks professional? That's what we're talking about here. If you're already using other Adobe apps, Express is going to feel right at home. It plays nice with Photoshop, Illustrator, and all those heavy editors. Importing assets is great, no more juggling between a bunch of different programs. Now let's talk about those AI tools. Honestly, they're mind-blowing. The quick actions in Express can save you a ton of time on those pesky design tasks we all hate. Background removal? Done in seconds. Resizing for different platforms? Easy peasy. Also, Adobe has enough fonts to choose from you get access to thousands of professional typefaces, which is more than any other platform provides. If you've ever felt limited by Canva's selection, you're in for a treat. We've got to talk about the interface too. Don't get us wrong, Canva's great, but sometimes it feels a bit cluttered. Adobe Express keeps things clean and simple. It's just easier on the eyes, you know? And here's the bonus, it's free. Sure, there's a premium tier if you want to go all out, but the free version of Express doesn't feel like you're missing out on much. You can create some impressive stuff without spending a cent. Look, at the end of the day, both tools have their strengths. Canva's got a large template library and some great team features. But if you're after that professional look, or you're tired of hopping between apps for different tasks, Adobe Express might just be your new best friend. Give it a shot on your next project. You might be surprised at what you can create. Adobe Express is shaping up to be a worthy Canva alternative, especially for those who want more professional-looking results without a steep learning curve. Its integration with Adobe's ecosystem, advanced AI features, and clean interface make it a joy to use for quick design tasks. That said, Canva still has some advantages, like a larger template library and more strong team collaboration features. We recommend giving Adobe Express a try for your next project and seeing how it fits your workflow.